Okay, how you can make a grave digger with a synchronous motor and one of those uh, six dollar plastic shovels. Okay, here's a summary of the build. Here's your synchronous motor. I have these, uh, the little adapter that you put on the motor. I'll have that in the description. And I'm using these uh, little brackets that are perfect for the synchronous motors. So I have that on a two by four um, screwed into it. And then on here, you have this T for the PVC. PVC will come up and we will screw this into a skeleton to keep it stable. So from there, we have this bracket that will go, I've used two of them, and it goes all the way to the shovel. And here I'm just using like a bolt and uh, that will keep it in its place. And then you have the hinge where the shovel will be attached to. And from there, um, the foot I have screwed into the shovel just to keep it on there so it looks like he's using it. And then as you go up, I have the hand that is screwed to the plastic shovel. So you get these synchronous motors adapters and I'll have the links in the description. And then you're going to use these galvanized uh, little brackets and uh, six, uh, number six screws work best for this and nuts. So the, if you use a number eight, it goes through, but it won't go through on this adapter for the synchronous motor. That's why you need a number six and it will go through both the, um, the bracket and the synchronous motor adapter here. And so this is how you're going to build it. Um, you're going to put the two brackets together and it's going to be hooked up to the shovel over there. So, um, depending on how long you want the shovel or how much distance depends on how long you put the initial bracket on this synchronous motor thing. So if you have a small one, it's going to go a little bit, right? But if you make it longer, the longer you make it, the more rotation, the longer, the farther out the shovel will go out, if that makes any sense. So what you just try on error, what you're going to do though, when you put it, um, this bracket on this uh, synchronous motor part, you're going to have to drill an extra hole in it so you could fit the number six screw so you could hold it into place. And um, this is how I put the synchronous motor to and then on this OSB board and I have a hinge where the shovel is going to go to. And if you look at how I have the initial bracket that's on synchronous motor, it's, I have it hooked up with a bunch of washers to give it the space. You need the space for it to rotate um, with that arm. So um, if you could see it, I have washers in between because you need it to clear as it's turning around. So I probably could have done less there, but uh, that was enough for me to use. And as this moves, you have the two brackets that are hooked together. It's hooked up to the shovel. And then the hinge is hooked up to the bottom of the shovel. Now you're gonna have this PVC pipe that's gonna hook up to a T-bone or one of those T's on the bottom of it. And this is where we're gonna be putting the um, skeleton again. So we're gonna be drilling some holes here and then we will screw these into the skeleton. So this way, it is connected to the skeleton. It'll keep them in the upright position. And that is held together by the T that you put by the synchronous motor. So you want to find a skeleton that the shoulder moves back and forth because when it's holding the shovel, right, it's going to be moving. But this is too, look, it's too, too much. It's going to be too much for the synchronous motor to move. So what you do is you could loosen this up loosen up the bottom one here and now it moves freely so that's going to give the movement that you want because it's going to have little resistance for the motor 
All right, the next thing I did is I screwed a little screw with the finger to the shovel. So now when it moves, it'll hold on to it. So the other thing I did is put a screw on the foot to the top of the shovel there. So now, got the hand connected to the shovel and the foot. As you can get a faster one, this is five to six RPMs. If you want to go it faster, you can. And the longer the arm is here, the farther it will push out, right? So I only have it just a little bit because it barely clears the bottom. So the longer you have this connector right here, the longer this would, the more this pushes it back. The reason why I like using these is if I don't have the bar long enough, you can always take it apart and shift them to make this longer. You just line up the holes to make it longer. Okay, so now I have this longer and this is going out more there. So let's see what it does now. Still not going all the way around, but that definitely is giving it more move on the shovel. So that works for me. And all I did was make this longer, this piece right here. And then on here, I just, you know, extended it longer between those two uh, brackets there.